I am Grace Hatsokanimani. I am the current president of the Constitutional Court of the Republic of Kosovo. In my capacity as a judge of a constitutional court, myself and my colleagues have transferred our challenges to opportunities. Once designed to ensure that our court functions honorably, responsibly, and impartially in protecting one of the youngest constitutions in the world, while consequently developing case law in terms of division and balance of power in line with a common tradition of the uh, most advanced democracies, as well as in terms of human rights in compliance with the case law of the European Court of Human Rights. The rule of law is the most fundamental concept and value reflected in our constitutional system, first of all, which in the capacity of a judge we interpret uh, every day through our case law. Moreover, it is also the basic premise of everyday management practices. It means, among others, leading an institution based on clearly and transparently outlined processes. Beyond constitutional interpretation and judicial de decision making, therefore, rule of law is also entailed in every single management related decision within an organizational culture based on equality, transparency, and accountability. One of the greatest risks for democracies around the world is the decline in commitment for rule of law and fall of enthusiasm for protection of human rights and fundamental freedoms, including in the most advanced democracies. The rise of autocracy and authoritarian regimes, the challenges and sometimes the failings of regional and international organizations, the growing of inequalities worldwide and increase in corruption practices, increased human rights violations in and post-conflict and ethnically divided contexts and in developing countries, and new risks to human freedom and dignity as a result of rapid technological advancements, to name a few, require an urgent and collective commitment to defend and revitalize democracies through strengthened rule of law worldwide. No nation alone can address the democratic backsliding and the corresponding risks in the protection systems for human rights and fundamental freedoms. Quite the contrary. Only a joint commitment through more than a pure formal declaration, but rather a bold, concrete, and practical agenda can address the most pressing risk and thus the priority of our generation.